Hello, my fellow CS colleagues. It's Sarah B. Cruz from Pretreat CSS, and welcome to Tech Tips. This series is dedicated to the hard skills you'll learn in the first few months in your new departments. Let's take what we've studied about central sterile practices and create actionable steps to apply them. So while we educate, motivate, and have a little fun onboarding into our career through professional development, these tech skills will help create sound practice foundation. And don't think it's just limited to the new techs. That's right. Let's get the real MVPs, our established CSS nerds in on the action. Help new technicians put the CSS in success so our patients always get the best care. And our industry wants to make sure that they're showing up for our professional development too. Our sponsor, Proper Manufacturing Company, have supplied us with some of their products for today's demonstrations. With everybody lined up to support our future industry professionals, let's jump into today's tech tips. How to peel pack. Peel pouch is industry jargon used to describe the paper plastic pouches that are generally used for small, lightweight, low profile items. Peel pack is the action of preparing the item of choice for sterilization by placing it inside of the paper plastic pouch. There are a variety of paper plastic pouches on the market available to central sterile professionals. Despite the product we use to ensure sterility, there are a few rules and checks to go by that remain the same throughout. A quick checklist. One, always have the integrator facing up inside the peel pouch. There's no exception. Two, when closed, the pouch must be smooth. That's right, folks. No folds, bubbles, or wrinkles are allowed to be present it could totally compromise sterility. Try to leave a little bit of room to pull open the tabs for your peel pouch. If you can't grab the opening with your bare hands, there's a good chance that a professional in gloves definitely won't be able to open the item. Don't be stingy. There's plenty of tab to go around. Four, be sure of the size and strength of your peel pouch. You have to make sure it's appropriate to accommodate the weight of the instrument being placed inside. And five, be sure to learn your instrument orientation within the pouch according to your healthcare facilities, policies, and procedures. And check the manufacturer's IFUs for clarity. An easy to use version of this checklist is available for free as a PDF download. Be sure to follow the link www.pretreatcss.com backslash peel pouch. Enter your email address and it'll be yours. All right, everybody, let's use this variety of peel pouch for an example. This is a self-sealing peel pouch. As you can see, one side of the peel pouch already has pre-sealed with easy open tabs. And on the opposite end is where you'll place your indicator and instrument of choice inside the peel pouch. Then we'll take the adhesive protectant off, fold it carefully to the plastic side of the peel pouch and then press it firmly. Remember, if there's a wrinkle, bubble, fold, space for air to get in, it means the sterility of the product inside can be compromised and that would be no good for our patient's safety. Okay, here I go. No pressure, right? Right here. Ah. <laughs> All right, guys, I finally got a good one. There's no holes, there's no wrinkles, there's no bubbles, but can we take a second to appreciate the integrator inside of the peel pouch? This particular integrator is a class five. And I wanted again to be sure that it is face up and that the individual opening the peel pouch can read the easy pass fail so that when they're opening it and dropping it on their sterile field, they can be certain that it's going to have the best quality for the patient they're about to use it on. Another variety of paper plastic pouch is on a roll and it can get cut to the user's length and determination. 
This would call for equipment to seal the instrumentation and the integrator inside. Let's take a look at one of these pieces of equipment in action. This particular peel pouch sealer has a heated bar inside of it. After placing the instrument of choice and our integrator inside the peel pouch, we'll slide the open end of the peel pouch inside the machine and rest it on the lever bar. Then we'll gently lift the bar to activate the heated sealing process. When it's reached the desired heat, the machine will drop the lever and the pouch is sealed. Always be sure to set the appropriate temperature, which can be found based on the paper plastic pouches IFU. Okay, so we went over our checklist. We got the basic technique down for peel pouching, and we even went over a couple of ways to seal open-ended pouches. Let's dive into another technique, double packing paper plastic pouches. Whether or not this technique is used is determined by your healthcare facility, but it should only be performed if the pouch manufacturer has validated the product for this use. Okay, quick rules for this technique. You guessed it. Integrator inside the innermost peel pouch only. The pouches have to fit inside of each other. No folding, cramming, or wrinkling allowed. The inside pouch must lay flat and the pouches should be positioned so that plastic faces plastic. This allows for complete sterility throughout the entire pouch. Fortunately for us, Propers peel pouches are validated for this technique. So I'm gonna prepare a double peel pouched item. This might take me a couple of minutes. So check out this word from our sponsor, Proper Manufacturing Company. Roper Manufacturing Company has been a leader in manufacturing disposable medical devices since the 1930s. Proper serves the sterile processing community as a key manufacturer of cleaning and sterility assurance products which exceed recognized standards and come with world-class customer service. Proper Manufacturing Company's chemical indicators and integrators confirm effective steam penetration into packages. When used inside of a test pack, Vaporline Integrator notifies you of cycle failure with clear and immediate results. OK sterilization indicators are type 4 chemical indicators available in 4-inch or 8-inch strips. OK sterilization strips feature an off-white to black color change when steam sterilization conditions have been met. The color change of the indicator ink should match the color of the letter O, letting you know it's OK to move forward and use that set. Vaporline Type 5 Steam Chemical Integrator is compliant with ISO 11140 Part 1. Vaporline integrators are designed to correlate with the performance of biological indicators. Vaporline is available with or without an extender. Vaporline integrators feature migrating ink and an easy to read pass fail area. If the ink appears to have entered the pass area, sterilization conditions have been met. Be sure to check out Proper Manufacturing Company's full line of sterilization products at www.propermfg.com. Look at it! Now our instrument is ready for sterilization. Placing the peel pouch on the autoclave truck is just as important as how well our pouch is sealed. It's important to line the pouches paper to plastic with room for steam and sterilant to permeate throughout. This can be achieved by using a wire rack on the autoclave truck. Keep in mind that paper plastic pouches should not be placed within wrap sets and containment devices unless the practice has been validated by the manufacturer and verified by the product testing within your healthcare facility. That's not me folks, that's from our good old Amy ST79. Check out page 54, section 954 if you're interested in the rationale behind the practice. All right, so now that you're armed with actionable steps, get out there and paper plastic pouch your entire department. No, I'm just kidding. Don't forget, you have to consider weight when peel pouching items. But seriously, get out there and practice because practice is the only way to hone a skill in our professional expertise. I wanna thank you all for joining me in this month's tech tip, as well as thanking Proper Manufacturing Company for sponsoring us today. Don't forget to check out the link www.pretreatcss.com backslash peel pouch to get your free PDF checklist. You can use these in your department as signs, as part of an in-service, or even as a baseline competency. 
If you want to reach out to get a little CSS nerdy with me or do a career-driven conversation, don't hesitate. Shoot me a message at pretreatcss.com. I'm really looking forward to it. And don't forget, you're the real MVPs. Bye. So here's my disclaimer. All of the opinions or suggestions in this study series are a reflection of me, Sarah B. Cruz of Pretreat CSS. Take what you need and leave the rest. <laughs>